Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to add a line of best fit in Excel 2010. So first off, let's see what we mean by a line of best fit. Over here on the left hand side I've got some very simple data representing monthly sales figures for a year and the number of sales re uh, represented by each of these monthly amounts. And on the right hand side over here I have a plot of each of these types of data. The blue dots up here at the top represent the sales figures and the red dots down here at the bottom represent the numbers of sales. And you can see that I've got a line of best fit going through each of the sets of data here. So what we want to be able to do is figure out, well, how do we actually do this in Excel? So let's go back to the beginning here and examine just the data on its own. So once again, a reminder, we have monthly figures over here in column A, uh, the monthly sales are in column B, and the numbers of sales represented by that volume is here in column C. So the first thing I'm going to do is just draw a single uh, scatter chart uh, to show how do we actually add the trend line to our data. So I'm going to do this just for sales. I'm going to select month and sales right down to the bottom here with my mouse. On the insert ribbon across the top, I'm going to go to the chart area and select scatter. And the type of scatter chart I want is this first one over here. It's called scatter with only markers. So select that. And it adds in um, a nice chart here showing me the, by the blue dots, uh, representing graphically the monthly sales for each of our months. Now to add a trend line to that data there is relatively straightforward. So if we want to do this, um, click on the Chart Tools and the Layout tab across the top. And there's an option over here towards the right-hand side called Trend Line. So we want to add a trend line to the chart. So I'll just click the down arrow there. Now there are several different types. The one I'm going to choose here is called a Linear Trend Line. So I'm just going to select that. And straight away, Excel has inserted this trend line, which we also call our line of best fit, into our data. We can uh, edit this should we choose. Uh, right click on this, I can format it, and for example um, I can make the line style a lot thicker if I wanted to. Let's put it up to two points, close that, make it a lot thicker and a little bit easier to see. We can see that Excel has inserted a label over here on the side uh, representing um, sales for these data here. So that's how we add a, a trend line or line of best fit, also by the way called a regression line in this case here, uh, to a simple set of data. Now let's see how we go about adding this for both sets of data that we have here. So I'm just going to move this chart out of the way. Come back to my data and this time I'm going to select all the data in my table here, both columns for sales and numbers of sales. I'm just going to insert a scatter chart once again, so select scatter only with markers. We can now see that the blue dots as we've seen in our previous chart are represented here for sales and the red dots down across the bottom represent the number of sales, number of products sold. So if I want to add in a, um, an, another axis here to represent the number of sales I can very quickly do that. So select the dots, right click, choose format data series and there's an option here to add in a secondary axis so click on that and click on close. You will notice however that Excel has now um, actually covered over the blue dots with these because of the different scales. So what I need to do here is format this axis so that the uh, current maximum value which is 4000 is changed. I'm going to change that to 10,000 just to make it a little bit bigger. And the effect of that is to move our red dots down across the bottom and we can now see the blue dots across the top again. So just be careful using that option if you want to add in a second axis. So now as before, adding the trend line is relatively straightforward. So I'm going to do this in two, day, two ways. The first one, I'm going to click the top. As before, select the layout tab, click on trend line and choose a linear trend line here. And our line is inserted for us. I'm also going to add the trend line for the red dots for representing numbers of sales. This time I'm going to right click and you can see there's an option here to add trend line. Just select that and it will add in uh, whichever line you choose. Once again, I'm going to choose the linear line here and add that trend line in. I can make this bigger if I want by choosing format trend line, uh, checking the line style and let's say I'll put that up to two points again and do the same with the first trend line over here. Right, Select and right click form a trend line, choose line style, and increase the uh, width to two points here as well. 
So now whatever data I'm comparing, I can now see, for example, that uh, my sales are increasing at a certain rate, or um, that they are increasing over the year, and my numbers of sales are gradually increasing over the year as well. So this trend line it gives me more information about our data. Don't forget it's also called the line of best fit, uh, and in this case here it's also a regression line. So that's how you add a line of best fit or a trend line uh, to data in Excel 2010. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for your attention.